So in this case, what we want to do is find the general solution for cos theta is equal to a half. Now, the idea with cos theta is the is that we know that if it's positive, it's, if the cos is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant. So we know that anything that's pi on 3 above the positive x-axis or pi on 3 below the positive x-axis would give us uh, a half cos of that angle there of either of those angles would give us a half. So our related angle is 60 degrees or pi on 3. So there's our related angle. So the idea is that we, every time we do a revolution we need to get to the positive x-axis and then add the, add, add the related angle or subtract the related angle there. So the idea here is that the general solution for theta would be 2k pi was every time we that would give us an even number times pi because that puts us on the positive x-axis and then we're going to add or we're going to subtract that pi on 3 which is going to be our related angle so that's how we do a cos and that cos is pretty cos is easier than sine because you've got to add you're, just, you're getting to that positive x-axis and then adding or subtracting and that's going to give you so it doesn't matter whether you're going in a negative direction or the positive direction you're moving in you're moving every time just one rotation one revolution around the positive x-axis and adding and subtracting so if you've got a is equal to cos theta then theta then as a general solution be 2k pi plus or minus the inverse cos of a the same as we did there and remembering that k is integral k is some positive number so k so cosine first and fourth quadrant so you're rotating getting that onto the positive x-axis every time and adding or subtracting to get our, our general formula